Well, how do I explain this? When you're done using an airless sprayer, you take the nozzle and you put it into the paint bucket, you hook a garden hose to it and you push all that paint that's in the 50 foot hose, you push it back into the paint bucket. As soon as you see water come out, you stop. Then you stick your nozzle, you put about an inch of water in the bottom of an empty bucket and keep spraying in here, try not to get it all over you because it'll bounce all around, but it'll, um, you fill the, you just keep spraying this bucket till you get pure water out and, um, or nearly pure water and what a lot of people do is they dump this in the sewer storm drains, they, you know, dump it on their property and I think that's just bullshit. Um, what I've done with these two buckets is um, this was mo this one had most of the, the paint in it um, that came out of the hose at the end of the job and that's why it's so dark so dark it was kind of a dark bluish gray and this was some more just of the clean out water now yeah it's a lot of water but what I did was I put them up against the garage like this and the sun is right behind us you can see the shadows what happens is it evaporates all the water out now it takes a few weeks you know, so you got to judge this. Are our kids going to get into this shit or whatever? But what happens is, because I did this last year when we painted the garage here, is this will, all the moisture will be gone and this will just be, you know, a big old sheet of paint in there. It'll be hard and dry as a rock. You can literally, most of you can just grab with your hands and throw it in the trash. It's all hard and gone and then you have your bucket again. Now, I don't like the orange buckets from Home Depot because I don't want to advertise for those guys for free. So I pay a little more and get these white ones. So yeah, I've done this before. It works like a charm. Um, just put it somewhere where it can get nice and hot. Now, you know, election day was yesterday, so we're in the first, second week of November. And you put it up against a wall. And I've measured the temperature of the paint on these walls. It's 150 degrees. So it bounces into the bucket. The sun hits it. You get a double whammy and the stuff evaporates pretty fast. This thing's gone down, gosh, it's gone down two inches, no problem. We've had some rain and I had them farther away from the wall, so I stuck them under the eaves of the garage here. But this is still, this, is, this one's come down probably three or four inches. So you let it do this and that way you're not polluting the damn environment, you know. You let the water evaporate and the paint stays. It all stays in the buckets. So just a quick tip for people you know, try to be environmentally sensitive. Paints are a lot safer than they ever used to be, but you just don't want to be stupid and lazy. You just don't want to do that. So, you let, let nature do its job, and it works really well. Anyway, that's it. See you, bye.